Hey, it's Scott Fox from Click Millionaires. Good to see you. Today we're going to talk about search engine optimization and how you can use keywords to maximize your website's search engine potential. What does that mean? Well, that means putting the keywords in the right places so that you can get as much free traffic as possible from Google and Bing and Yahoo and all the other search engines around the world. So how do you do this? Well, these are the sort of questions I get all the time in the forum at Click Millionaires and in my blog at scottfox.com. A lot of people spend a lot of time researching keywords, but then they're not really sure what to do with them. <laughs> so if you're new to internet marketing especially, let me run through this for you. I'm going to show you on a TypePad blog the places you should be putting your keywords. You can spend a lot of time and money researching, but if you don't know what to do with those results in order to attract search engine traffic, it was all a waste of time. And my goal at Click Millionaires is to help you make more money online cost effectively. And that means using your time wisely too. So here we go with some search engine optimization tips that can help you maximize the use of keywords. Now we're looking here at TypePad. TypePad is a very common blogging platform. WordPress is another one. But these same tips will apply on WordPress or on any website building package that you use, whether it's uh, Site Build It or Website Tonight or uh, One and One or Squarespace or Wix or Homestead. Any of these sites have similar types of fields. And what I'm really trying to teach you here is the principles of how to use the keywords that your research has uncovered and where to put them in order for Google and Yahoo and Bing to correctly categorize your site so that when people are searching for products like yours, well, your site rises up in the search engine rankings so that they find it and come on over and visit you and hopefully buy something. So here we are. We're creating a new TypePad blog. And like I said, this could be a website. It could be a WordPress blog. It could be a store, an e-commerce store. Any sort of thing has these same sort of keyword principles these days. So let's sell something or let's talk about a product here. How about bicycles? How about... Um, banana bicycles. I'm just looking for something um, kind of different. Hopefully bananabicycles.com won't infringe on anybody's trademark. But that's the name of your product and your URL as an example. Okay, so insert your example here. Banana bicycles. And we're going to put a little slogan in. The best yellow bicycles for you. Okay, now I just made that up. Obviously, these would be based on keywords that you've done some research on, and that's a topic for another time, of course, that we'll talk about in the forum at Click Millionaires or anywhere else you'd like. Um, we're talking about bicycles. They're yellow. Your brand name is Bananas, and we've picked a name for your blog. So the point is you don't just put uh, website, right, or something like that. I still see that sometimes. People miss this opportunity. That's a key signal both to visitors and to Google as to what your site's about, well, it's the name of the site. No surprise, right? Okay, next line, blog folder. Now, you'll, you'll replace the first part of this. This is my Scott Fox account on TypePad, but you'll replace that with your own domain name. That's a, a tool called domain mapping, which we can talk about some other time, but it's pretty easy and pretty well explained in most services these days. So you'll replace that uh, with your specific domain. Uh, as a separate process. But here is where you begin your search engine optimization process. Banana Bicycles the best. Now, TypePad has taken the title that I put up in here and tried to uh, truncate that to fit it in as a reasonable length of uh, the folder name. And you can see that they're doing that because they're trying to repeat your keywords, Banana Bicycles. And I think that's a good idea. The best isn't going to help us too much. But perhaps let's say that your bikes are yellow. And that's the key thing that people are looking for. But, you know, yellow bikes this year are the thing. So I might add in yellow there because now in this uh, folder will show up on every URL on your site because this is where your blog or website pages are housed in the file structure at your hosting provider and you have thereby repeated your keywords in a place that humans may not see but the Google crawlers do and that's what we're doing here is putting the keywords in places where the search engines can find them even if humans don't notice or care so we've got a checkbox here, publicize this blog on search engines in my type of profile. Well, sure, we'll take all the publicity we can get, right? That's the point. So then I clicked on create, and it's going to create this new site. Now, this is a page that doesn't matter too much. So this will happen after you get built, but this is just showing traffic reporting. We want to head over here to settings. I want to want to walk you through the settings. You want to find all the places you can to repeat your keywords. So the blog name, well, we already did that. Banana bicycles, the best yellow bicycles for you. But here on blog description, you're going to say something similar. So let's repeat banana bicycles. Um, the best yellow mountain and mountain bike bikes and racing cycles. Um, 
for you. Something like that. But again, you can see I'm repeating the keywords. And this is something that you might neglect doing because people don't really see this stuff. This is behind the scenes. But this gets in again, best, yellow, mountain bikes, racing cycles. These are probably keywords relevant to your business. Again, I'm making this up, but these are examples you should have pulled from your own keyword research. And we've now repeated the stuff a couple times. And you can make it longer than this, but I'm trying to keep this video short for you. <laughs> we're going to save those changes. And then we're going to move to the next tab. And when I set up a new website or blog, I move through the tabs, move through all the settings at least once, maybe multiple times to optimize them. And in SEO, that's very important because you're putting the keywords in place again and again. So publicity, they're offering me, this is a tab search engine optimization, they're offering publicity. Do you want to optimize your blog for search engines? Why, yes, publicize this blog. <laughs> so make sure that box is checked. Then Google sitemap. Google will, they will generate a Google sitemap for you. Well, we're going to check that one too. Sure, I want Google to make it easier for Google to come in and find all the pages on my site, and that will help. The next we're talking about title format. Title format shows, what do you want first? Do you want it to say the post title and then the blog name or the reverse, the blog name and then the post title. Now if this is just a static site, then it probably doesn't matter much. You're not adding many new pages. But if it's a blog, then I'd recommend post title first and then blog name. So the blog name is Banana Bicycles, but the post title might be uh, the top 10 uh, bicycling tips this week or something like that. Uh, and you want that to go first because that's more current and will optimize that page and tell Google and the other search engine crawlers that that page is really about something more specific than banana bicycles in general. It's specifically about bicycling tips of a certain kind that you wrote in that blog post. Now, meta keywords, here you go again. What were the keywords you researched? Well, probably bicycles would be first because that's your product. Banana is your brand. The best ones, uh, as we said, they're yellow. There are, some of them are mountain bikes. Uh, some are road bikes, um, et cetera, et cetera. This, you want to repeat them all and separate them with commas so that you can repeat them again. The, the people will pick them up. Um, the people won't pick them up because they're hidden, but the search engines will. Meta description, same deal. Now this, you want this to be a little more uh, plain English uh, because this is actually what often shows up in the results. If somebody Googles your site and it shows up in the results, this will often be the little paragraph that shows up. So banana bicycles, like we said, it's the best uh, online store for yellow mountain bikes etc etc okay optimize as you will but again keywords are the right idea you don't want them to exactly repeat the other things that you've said but in plain English here restate your value proposition including your keywords and again that gives Google and Yahoo Bing and the other engines something more to chew on more to know how to index your site and where to put it in the search results that's the sort of um, efforts I want you to think about when you're creating your site and then the next thing to do I'm doing this quickly, obviously. We'll talk about this more in the forum, or you're welcome to give me a call. Um, when you start creating your post, I wanted to hit one more thing here. Uh, if you have a top 10, let's talk about this, top 10 uh, bicycling posts this week, okay? This is a blog post uh, this, this week. Now that's a pretty good search engine optimiz optimized title because you've got bicycling. Oh, I forgot tips, didn't I? Bicycling tips. This is hard to do live. <laughs> and you'll see that here, Typepad has taken the title and put it into um, the post permalink as well. Um, that's fine because it's reflecting this. But what would be better is to do this. The problem with this is it's pretty good, but it leads with top 10. That's distracting to Google. What you really want to tell them is that this is about bicycling tips. That should be the first words it sees. Bicycling tips, the top 10 this week. Got it? So bicycling tips is the first thing they see. And that's both for people, but really more for the search engines. Bicycling tips is first. The URL has been redone, so bicycling tips is first then. And here's the quiz for you. Pop quiz. What are the first words that should be in the post? Well, it should be bicycling tips, if that's what you want this page to rank for. That's how this works, okay? Then, well, I'd put it down here in the keywords, along with the other points. Tips, uh, mountain bikes, etc. And this is a post specific optimization opportunity and then you want to include the keywords specific to that post and they will reinforce and overlap somewhat with the keywords we started with in the settings section that will optimize your whole blog for bicycle sales of your yellow banana bicycles. 
So I hope that's helpful to you. That's a very tactical deployment strategy for putting keywords in to your blog, website, or e-commerce online store. That's the sort of thing we talk about here at ClickMillionaires.com, and I hope it's helpful to you. Questions are welcome, as always, of course. If you're a ClickMillionaires member, I will see you in the forum and hope you post your questions there. And uh, if you're catching this later on YouTube or uh, ScottFox.com, well, I'd be happy to have your questions there, too. Even better, come on over to ClickMillionaires.com and join us. I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Scott Fox from ClickMillionaires.com.